Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what we have here is a little bit different story but I still a very very interesting article that I wanted to share with you guys. It's a source of immortality found in plants. It says if you make us immortal science I will take back every bad thing I've ever said about you. Well almost all says the thing is it might become closer it might be closer than we think says there are a lot of different ways to keep a human body and mind going long after its ex expiration date and experiments are ongoing a new study has revealed an undiscovered reprogramming mechanism that allows plants to maintain fitness down the generations and thus remain immortal but here you see this is just a, a, a picture of the ancient redwood. I mean, these things live for thousands of years. And just um, actually, I really like the redwood trees. They're so huge and mat like big. Like I don't know. I've never actually seen one in person. So you know, I know it's just a tree. So some people would be like, dude, it's just a tree. But for some reason, you know, I've always been uh, impressed with the redwood trees. Um, but goes on to say that the new study reveals for the first time the existence of DNA uh, methylation changes in the germline of flowering plants and the process behind. Uh, it says germ cells are often referred to as immortal because they can pass their genetic material through the generations. This new study aims to solve a long-term debate on whether the germ cells in plants undergo an event of DNA methylation reprogramming at each reproductive cell. DNA methylation is a modification of DNA which changes the activity of DNA without changing the genetic sequence. It is known to exist in animals and occurs most dramatically in germ cells, regulating the reproductive success from generation to generation. Now understanding how this natural, natural occurs during plant development is the first step in understanding how specific genes can be targeted by this uh, epigenetic modification and hence regulated. But the question is, do we want to become immortal? So that's the question I want to ask you guys. That's basically why I wanted to share this with you too. I mean, it sounds to me like they're they're studying this and trying to figure out how to try and make humans immortal, if you will, um, animals immortal, if you will. Um, that you know, did, I don't know. Like me personally. I don't think I would want to be immortal. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. A lot of people might feel different and say, well, why wouldn't you want to, to live forever? But I'll be honest, we live in a world where I, I just, the world we live in, there, there's so much good in this world, but there's also so much bad in this world. And to be honest, that would be the reason I wouldn't want to live forever. Now, I get, you know, especially for those of us that already have loved ones that are gone or whatnot, I mean, would you really want to live forever without them? Now, if your whole family's intact, you know, maybe you'd feel different. But there's a lot of different reasons. I'm just throwing out a couple examples there. But I just wanted to share this interesting article with you. So basically, they're trying to, what they're saying is they're they're studying ways to try to figure out how to make people and animals immortal is what it sounds like to me so again the question is would you want to be immortal um, be sure to comment down below and give me your opinion on that uh, but thanks for watching these videos and supporting the channel growing every single day because of you guys and I just can't thank you enough for that be sure to share like subscribe and comment down below um, I hope you guys have a great day peace